Hello, Ramara sir. How are you? Uh, fine, sir. So, meeting you after a long time. Yes, it is a pleasure uh, meeting you. Okay. How your students did the exam, sir? Sir, uh, my students they did well, and uh, I have got uh, trouble uh, with this question. Okay. Which one, sir? Ah, uh, you see this question, sir. Yeah, this the the two statements question. Yes. Yes. In this case, one student is telling me that atoms of each element are stable and emit their charity spectrum. Yes, no? that's absolutely right. So he is asking me, sir, what about uh, radioactive atoms? For radioactive atoms, uh, can I apply this uh, charity spectrum or not? That is his question. Please uh, enlighten me. Okay, sir. In the case of radioactive atoms, we speak of stability with respect to nucleus. Okay. So, if the nucleus is stable, the atom is stable. If the nucleus is unstable, obviously, atom is unstable. But in such cases where the unstability is caused by nucleus, such elements release alpha, beta, gamma radiation. And that never falls under the characteristic spectrum. Here, the point that is given is the second part of the sentence. Atoms of each element are stable. And the sentence continues to say they emit their characteristic spectrum. So spectrum is nowhere related to alpha, beta, gamma yes. emission. So characteristic X-ray spectrum is the signature or the thumb impression of the element. Okay. No two elements can release the same characteristic X-ray spectrum. Whereas if you speak of alpha, beta, gamma radiation, it is the same for all radioactive released elements. Released by all radioactive elements. Let it be uranium, thorium, or radium, whatever you take. Though the, the name of the element you are saying is different. The okay. nature of the radiation, alpha, beta, gamma stands for the same. So it can't come into this category. Yes, obviously, sir. Okay. So radioactive nuclei, that idea, that doesn't make the sentence as incorrect. So it is atom, whether it is stable or unstable, its signature is giving its characteristic X-ray spectrum. And if you look at the Mosley's law, it has never said that radioactive elements cannot emit characteristic X-rays. Okay, okay. So okay. In, in that case, most less fails. Yes, obviously, no. <laughs> so we can't say that. It is not applicable for radioactive nuclei. Okay. In fact, mostly itself hasn't said that. So it is applicable for all. So characteristic X-rays are characteristic spectrum that is the property of the atom or the atomic number of the element. Okay. The stability or instability of the atom that no way matters with the second part of the sentence their characteristic spectrum. So the question of radioactive, non-radioactive, it will, it will never arise. It never arises at all, oh. sir. And so, it is absolutely right. Sir. So in your opinion, sir. what is the best option or correct option for this question, sir? It's both the statements given are true, 100%. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank so you. friends, please uh, observe this. As per the opinion of the subject expert, uh, option two is uh, appropriate. So both the statements are correct. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank okay. you for your Have a nice day, boys. Have a nice day.